Hello everybody, this is Griffin, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get really cool themes for your Discord. So as you can see, I have what I have right here, it's pretty cool, it's got all sorts of stuff. It isn't just a regular Discord plain theme, and uh, if you go ahead into settings and you look at appearance, you can't actually change. I mean, even if you have Nitro, you can't change the background, which uh, well, you can't see because Streamer Mode's enabled, but go ahead and look for yourself. There's no way to change the background. You can go ahead and uh, you can put like cozy or compact but still your background is still just the same image but what you can do to change that and actually get some default themes and also some really cool custom themes is install better discord better discord is uh, application that installs with your discord to let you run themes and plugins you got you have like a little uh, tab down here with all sorts of stuff so the way that you get better discord you go over to your browser obviously and you're going to want to go to better discord.net now when you go over here it's really simple just hit um what we got did they just i think they i feel like they just okay now it was just a little bit messed up on my browser i thought they had changed their web page anyway so you hit download for windows i'm not going to install it right now because i already have it installed but i'll show you when you do that it'll finish it'll go over to your downloads folder and you'll have this zip right here just called bd whatever version windows as long as you're on Windows, I just assume you're on Windows uh, since you're watching this. Anyway, you're going to hit Extract All. That will give you this folder. It will just be the same thing, except it's a, just a regular folder instead of a zip. You open that, you'll have these files. I assume there'll be these files unless it's a later version. But the main thing is this Bear Discord WI has like the red and black icon. You want to run this. So go ahead, double click, hit Accept, Next, and then you'll have this. This is just like the options when you install it I suggest that you hit restart after install because otherwise you'll have to reboot discord manually it just works that way you have to restart it before the, the changes actually actually take place before you can actually use it if you're using discord ptb which is the, the test build you can install it with that or install to canary I suggest that you don't use ptb and just use regular discord because uh, it doesn't really work with the test build I tried that out before this video and it doesn't work too bad too well anyway I'm going to just close this because I already have it installed but once you install it and reboot discord you'll have this new tab down here now this is where the fun stuff starts to get your themes I already have some but the one the theme you're going to want for this is um, this right here the link will be in the description and that is this theme by curry choosy I believe I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that but it's got two different themes in this it has the red and black which looks like this and it also has the re-zero thing which is an anime it's pretty cool but the really cool thing about this is that you can change it to use whatever pictures you want so you're going to want to download the zip I'm not I guess I did download it or whatever anyway I wasn't planning on doing that but that's as obviously just going to show up in your downloads over here you want to open this up and pull out the theme I suggest you use the red and black because the re-zero it has like a blue screen in front of it so you can't see your custom images as well I mean, you can see them but it has like a little bit of a distortion from the blue screen so I suggest you just use the red and black anyway you're going to right click copy this then Windows key and R uh, percent app data percent enter and that will open up your app data folder under roaming alright so you want to find this folder right here better discord you're going to open that up uh, themes you open this up and then you just control V paste it in there I can't paste it because I already have it right here but then you have it in so once again you're going to want to reboot discord let me just make sure this is yeah still recording great so you're going to want to reboot discord when it comes back up you are going to not have this theme because that's my custom theme but you will have something that looks about like this all right this is the just the default red and black theme so pretty cool it looks good maybe you like that picture maybe you want to save it but you know since you're watching this I assume what you want is custom backgrounds so this is where it really starts you want to go back to the same page where you downloaded it scroll down a little bit and then there's this code right here I might I, I actually I'm not going to paste it in the description just go to this page and see it but you want to just highlight all this from dot app down to the closing bracket right click copy then you're going to come over here to this the better discord and the custom CSS tab you're going to click here control V to paste it and update all right, so this gives it the, the two default pictures is that and this, just this background here. But this allows you to change the images. So you can see this right here is the link for the main image. 
this is the link for the settings tab image which is the one you can see right now so all you have to do to change your images is you go you get a couple pictures off Google or Bing or whatever you want upload them to a site like Imgur and uh, then you just copy them in so for example right here I have this I'm just going to control C copy put this like right here then I uh, believe it's this which one do I want hmm uh pretty sure just this one got a couple different things because i'll be showing a couple different things all right so put these in Control v update and yeah that works so you got that image now you have this image now the thing i need to point out which is very very important is just that uh you can see this is https you it needs to be https if it's http let's see if i can show it right here if it's http the image is not going to work you can see that just disappeared um, if we delete this then it's just going to go all black now there's another time when it would go all black as well which is if you're using uh, an image that's the, not the right size let me let me just show you that I changed this one back to HTTPS update and then we're going to change this link all right so there this looks really good but if you close this oh okay then anyway uh, let me try that once again. I might have cop. I might have uh, messed my tabs up. And yeah, all right. Let me try this one really quick because I you saw the black screen just a second ago. And the other time when that happens, besides if it's not H, yeah, here. All right, maybe that issue is fixed. But anyway, if you get an image that's the wrong size then you'll also get a black screen so if you just pick an image you just upload it right like, like random say you got this image right here it's a pretty cool picture uh, you upload it to Imgur you paste it into here and all of a sudden your screens black well the reason for that is the image is the wrong size so all you have to do is just hit edit and you go ahead resize just go like maybe 75 save it upload it again paste back into here and then it will work um, the other thing I need to point out is that when you first upload to Imgur, what you'll have is a link that looks like this. Just either uh, IMGUR, it's not going to be an HTTPS. Really easy to fix. All you do is just type in yourself. So HTTPS, slash, slash, delete this, www. And you can hit enter just to check if it's right. That's good. The I works too. You don't have to have the www. But what I'm pointing out is that when you first upload, you're just going to have this I dot thing. This obviously, this isn't going to work. Just uh, change it into an HTTPS. Just as I said, type it in and copy it into here, and then it'll work. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just the last tip is, you know, obviously you're probably going to want a couple different themes. Just you know, you might get bored of one or the other, but you probably don't want to lose your images. So instead of just saving like a link list over, like in a sticky notes or somewhere like that, instead of doing that, go ahead and just make a folder like this and copy in your CSS code. So, for example, if I want to save this, I'm just going to go ahead, Control C, and let me add that to my list. You know, I'll hit New Text Document. I'll call this Trees, and then you know, just paste it in here. And then whenever I want again, you know, I just uh, open this up, copy it, and paste it in. So, for example, I have four other ones. I have this one right here. is pretty nice. It's the favorite. It's one to use all the time. So if I want to use this, just uh, go over here, delete, put this in update and then all of a sudden i've got another one anyway i hope you enjoyed this video all the links that are needed will be in the description subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed and uh, if you have any questions or need support just go ahead and either dm me or you can join my discord which uh i don't think i can show the link because it is actually in streamer mode let's see it's an invites uh, yeah, I can't show because it's stream remote, but I'll put the link down in the description. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. This has been Griffin. Peace out.